good evening and welcome to Priory Reflections on this the Sunday before Ascension Day. I'm the Reverend Christine Strand, the Associate Minister at Brillington Priory and it is a privilege to be with you again this evening. Now this evening's reflection will be slightly different from normal because I want you to, to encourage you to be a part of the Thy Kingdom Come global wave of prayer which is between Ascension Day and Pentecost. It is an opportunity for us all to pray for God's work, to pray for others across the world but more importantly if we all just pray for five people that we know then across the world look how many people will be prayed for during that time. Now, Thy Kingdom Come began six years ago back in 2016, or should I say this is the sixth one, um, in 2016 when our Archbishops Justin Welby and uh, John Sentimu encouraged us as the Church of England to pray for five people and thy kingdom come, asking for God's kingdom to come in people's lives. And it, that reflection that year was all based around the Lord's Prayer. And we had prayer stations around the Priory to encourage us to pray, to encourage us to think about the Lord's Prayer and to encourage us to pray for five people. But it has become far more than those who belong to the Church of England being part of this 10 days of prayer between Ascension and Pentecost. It has become a global phenomena, hence the reason why we have this here, which tells us to join the global wave of prayer for thy kingdom come between Ascension Day and Pentecost. And that is why I have here um, my globe as a reminder that we are joining with people across the world to pray. And so as we come today, we may feel that our prayers don't go very far, but imagine how that will light up the world with the message that Jesus is the light of the world. If each one of us prays for five people. But this year too, it has been recognized that we have been through a difficult time. And so the prayer journal that has been issued for this year is slightly different because it enables each of us, whether we're praying for others or whether we are seeking to know more about Christ ourselves, to feel that we can all benefit from using these wonderful Thy Kingdom Come prayer journal. Now, the Archbishop of York, Stephen Cottrell, has written a lovely introduction to this prayer journal. And so I'm going to read it to you. Renew us by your spirit. This booklet is intended for everyone. We all need the encouragement of the basic promises of the Christian faith to help us live the life God gives us to the full. The COVID-19 pandemic has hit every area of our lives, where we can go, whom we can see, how we can worship. In the time between Ascension Day and Pentecost, Thy Kingdom Come is a gift to refresh our faith, especially if we felt isolated from our community or our church during this difficult time. I, that Stephen Cottrell, have also written this in the hope that those who don't know Jesus at all may find in these pages the hope they long for. So if you are already a follower of Jesus, 
receive this as a reminder and an encouragement of why and how following Jesus makes a difference to you. Why not think about who you could give a copy to and how you could be praying for those you know who also need the hope of the gospel. And if you are yet to encounter Jesus Christ, my hope is that you will do so in what you read and reflect on in this booklet. Each day there are a few things to read, a prayer to offer, and then an invitation for you to make your own reflection on what it means to follow in the way of Christ. You don't have to write anything down, but you may find it helpful. Don't worry if this isn't you. Just ask God to help you see clearly how you can follow Jesus and who you can help. And do this not only with yourself in focus, but also those you know. Maybe pray for five friends, family, neighbours, colleagues who live their lives yet to know the love offered to them in Christ Jesus. In these days of hopeful waiting and praying between Ascension and Pentecost, may we all be renewed by the Spirit, made new in Christ. Stephen Cottrell, Archbishop of York. And inside there is a reflection for each day, some verses of scripture, a prayer and a chance to write your comments. Now, if you were in church at the Priory this morning, you will have received a copy of this prayer journal. If you would like one and live in Bridlington, they will be available for you to collect from the church between 11 and 3, between Monday and Friday this week. If you're not sure where they are, just ask one of the stewards when you go in. And if you don't live in Bridlington and you are not part of a church who's been giving these out, don't worry, because they are available online. If you just simply Google Thy Kingdom Come, you will find the website and you will find endless resources. And you can follow this prayer journal um, and download the app and there's other things too. But not least, as we also gave out today with the prayer journal, is a family, digital family adventure map. And this certainly goes along with using an app. Now, some people may look at this and say, I'm sure I saw something like this last year. Now, because of the pandemic last year, there was um, a surplus of these. And so we were sent one with each of the prayer journals. Hence the reason why if you had one with your prayer journal, you're thinking, but I don't have children. That's why you got one. You might like to pass it on to somebody else, to another family that you know. Or you might like to join in the fun of joining in yourself because they have used the one from last year. We've, there's been stickers to stick on it to remind us of the dates, but the dates inside aren't quite right, but you'll know the dates from the front. And you can follow this lovely map and joining all the activities each day. Now, if you go on the website and you get a bit confused, along the bar at the top are all sorts of things, resources, and it says cheeky pandas. Now the cheeky pandas are involved in what happens each day using this map and they're great fun. So as I say, you don't need to be um, a child to enjoy or a family um, to enjoy cheeky pandas. You can join in too. Now, if you're thinking, oh dear, I'm a teenager and I'm feeling a bit old for cheeky pandas and this sort of thing. There also um, is, um, something that says youth on it along that bar along the top. Um, do click on that and there's youth resources too. There are so many things in there to encourage us to pray, to encourage us to find out more about Jesus. If you're not a follower of Jesus, discovering who he is. And if you are, to encourage you to pray for others. 
Now, this whole idea of five has been so much the centre of thy kingdom come, of us praying for five people. And so on my table today, I've got five stones, five shells, five hearts, um, five pretty different coloured glass uh, beads um, and also a piece of wool. Now on that piece of wool, you may not be able to see it very clearly, but there are actually five knots. Now, they're all ideas. You might like to take one of those ideas or one of your own as a way to remember in a special way the five people you would like to pray for. You could pick up stones, maybe if you live in Bridlington, your soil in your garden is probably quite stony. So you might be able to just simply go and find five stones from the garden or obviously down on the beach or maybe shells down on the beach. You could write people's initials on the stones or you could cut out a heart shape or whatever you like and just write the people you want to pray for, their names on those hearts. Or in another way, you might simply want to get a piece of wool or string and tie five knots into your string or wool. And as you tie those knots, think about five friends or family members that you are going to pray for each day between Ascension Day and Pentecost. And that piece of wool you might like to leave somewhere, maybe as another bookmark in your prayer journal, or maybe pop it in your pocket so that as you're out and about, you might put your hand in your pocket and think of each of those five friends and pray for them. So there are so many lovely ways that you might like to think of five and pray for five people in the coming days. Perhaps you might like to be really creative and find different ways um, of remembering those five people. So I hope that has inspired you, inspired you to really want to join in with people around the world to pray for others or to really start to pray, to think, how is God speaking to you? And to encourage you in this, I decided that the one that I would share with you is for day three, expanding the heart. When we stood outside on Thursday evening in the summer of 2020, cheering the NHS, did we realise how much it would change us? By giving thanks, by praising, we learnt to put the needs of others before our own. We discovered a deep appreciation for those who put their lives at risk to serve us. Thanksgiving expands the heart. We cheered other key workers as well. And who would have thought that the person stacking the supermarket shelves was an essential worker. We learnt that we belong to each other, that my well-being is tied up with everyone else's well-being, that COVID-19 won't be dealt with anywhere until it is dealt with everywhere. This is also the way of Jesus, where we learn that we are sisters and brothers children of one God. Let us pray that the people we know and the whole world may find the way of Christ. And a prayer. Generous God, fill my heart with thanksgiving for all the blessings I receive in life. Expand my heart and help me love support and cherish those who serve me 
and today help me to live as sister or brother to all whom I meet. Amen. And the Bible verse linked with this. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were all called in the one body. And be thankful. And that comes from Colossians chapter 3, verse 15. And as I thought about that reflection for day three on Thanksgiving, it reminded me of the psalm that was actually in the lectionary for this morning but felt very appropriate. Psalm 98 The Lord has made known his salvation. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvellous things. His own right hand and his holy arm have won for him the victory. The Lord has made known his salvation. His deliverance has he openly shown in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his mercy and faithfulness towards the house of Israel. And all the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. The Lord has made known his salvation. Sound praises to the Lord all the earth. Break into singing and make music. Make music to the Lord with the lyre, with the lyre and the voice of melody, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Sound praises before the Lord the King. The Lord has made known his salvation. Let the sea thunder and all that fills it the world and all that dwell upon it. Let the rivers clap their hands and let the hills ring out together before the Lord, for he comes to judge the earth. In righteousness shall he judge the world and the peoples with equity. The Lord has made known his salvation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Lord God, just and true, you make your salvation known in the sight of the nations. Tune the song of our hearts to the music of creation as you come among us to judge the earth through our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. And that psalm reminds us of the whole earth, of all the nations, and how wonderful it is that since 2016, as we in this country were encouraged to pray, so now countries around the world have Christians praying day after day and particularly during this time of thy kingdom come. That time when just as the disciples waited between the ascension of Christ through to Pentecost, they waited and prayed. So we are waiting and praying for ourselves, for five or more of our friends and family, for all that is happening. We may feel just like one little tea light, one little light. But if we are all lights across the world, look what light that gives. We've in the past few weeks put some solar um, lights out in our garden. And we started off just buying a pack of four, but we felt that's not very bright. We weren't wanting them to flood lit, floodlight the garden, but we wanted them to look effective. And so we bought some more. And as we placed more and more around the garden, 
it's amazing how those little lamps have just joined together around the garden, giving shape to the garden and lighting certain things. And so that is with us as we pray. The light of Christ is spread. We may feel like one little light in a dark corner, but as we all pray together, we bring the light of Christ across Bridlington, across the towns we live, where we live, across the country, and on and across the whole world. Now my globe is actually a jigsaw puzzle. And as I think of all those pieces fitting together, they have created a globe of the whole world. And so we are pieces of that jigsaw puzzle that makes up Christians across the world. And if you would like to join in a 24-7 prayer vigil, um, Emmanuel Church in Bridlington is um, arranging for their chapel to be open um, for people to go in an hour at a time to pray and they will have prayer stations there too. And um, they've designed it in a COVID safe way so that you do have to book in advance. And we will put up on the Facebook page the link to um, the events page so that if you would like to join in with that, you can sign up for it. So there's so many opportunities in the coming couple of weeks before I do my next reflection for us to really pray to discover more about God's love for each one of us. And there is a song which I found on the um, Thy Kingdom Come website, which has been written especially with Thy Kingdom Come in mind. And it was written by Noel Robinson, Andy Flanagan and Graham Hunter. Now the lyrics are entitled, We Seek Your Kingdom. You can find it if you look on the website for Thy Kingdom Come. You can hear it sung and you can find the words. But it's set to the tune of Abide With Me. We seek your kingdom throughout every sphere. We long for heaven's demonstration here. Jesus, your light shine bright for all to see. Transform, revive and heal society. Before all things in him were all things made. Inspiring culture, media and trade. May all our work serve your economy, transform, revive and heal society. Peace, truth and justice reigning everywhere. With us be present in our public square. Fill all who lead with your integrity. Transform, revive and heal society. Forgive us, Lord, when we have not engaged, failing to scribe your heart on history's page. Make us again what we were made to be. Transform, revive and heal society. Faithful to govern ever may we be, selfless in service, loving constantly. In everything may your authority transform, revive and heal society. And as we come tonight, let us say together the Lord's Prayer, thinking particularly of that line, your kingdom come as we, I'm going to say it in the traditional words um, because it comes with that line, thy kingdom come as we look forward to Ascension Day and the beginning of thy kingdom come, global wave of prayer. Let us pray as our Saviour taught us. 
Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. And the Bible reading which I have not read this evening from Revelation chapter 3 verses 14 to the end of the chapter and has in it in verse 20 the words Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and be with him. So may that be our prayer for ourselves, that we open our hearts to Christ and let him in. And that as we pray for five people, that is our prayer, that they will come to know Christ and let him into their lives. And as we think of that, maybe we feel we need to renew our call to be Christ's disciples. And so our collect is linked to this morning's Bible reading, which was where Jesus appeared to the disciples by the Lake of Galilee. Risen Christ, by the lakeside re you renewed your call to your disciples. Help your church to obey your command and draw the nations to the fire of your love, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen. Thank you for joining with me this evening. <clears throat> I hope you will join in with Thy Kingdom Come between Ascension Day and Pentecost. And if you are in Bridlington, the Ascension Day <coughs> Eucharist will take place at six o'clock. You can either watch online or we will have the service in church. So if you're able to join in that service, do come along and let us remember the ascension of Christ, which is part of that story that leads us to Pentecost, from Easter to Pentecost. God bless and I'll see you again on Pentecost Sunday in two weeks time.